Welcome back everyone. Today we have another interesting saw. This is the Steel MS363. This is another one. It's not available to us here in the States or even North America yet. But it is the manual carb version of the 400.1 steel that we just did that video on. And I do have to come clean. Something happened to the ported footage. And all I have is the after runs of our MS400. We ran it with the undaunted muffler, did a few tests, but something happened to that footage. I don't have it, but I do have the dyno runs and we can show the graphs and put it up there with the stock 400.1 and the ported 400.1. It's been with this owner for a few weeks now and he's super happy with it. And I can tell you, and I can say we went the easy route on that 400.1. We didn't do any machine work, just porting work only. And it gained quite a bit, what you'll see when we show the graphs. But today we're going to fuel up this 363 and get some baseline runs just to see maybe this manual carb version will work out. Maybe it won't have the casting on the cylinder that makes it such a pain to machine. And maybe we can make some real power out of it. But let me know what you guys think. Are you super excited about these newer models? And if this one makes the same type of baseline power, it might be a manual carb option for people. But we'll get it all fueled up and see. Like I said, this is basically the identical saw and we won't know more until I get this cylinder off, but I've been told it's an open port cylinder. Generally, the open ports don't perform as well, but we will find out. So we'll get this one all fueled up, oiled up. And the customer that has that 400.1, he seems to be liking the way that it feels a little bit better than his 400. He also has a ported 400 that we did, and I'll throw a ported 400 on the after graph. He says he's got about five tanks through the point one, and it seems to be coming around. So more than likely, we'll get that one back sometime. And Jeff, leave nothing stock, has porting that other one for Bodhi, uh, the Empire Workshop, and that one's supposed to make a return run. So Jeff is going the hard route. He's doing all the machine work plus porting and everything. And if that one comes in, and smokes one we did we'll definitely get that one back do all the extra machine work and see if we can get a little more power out of it but that'll be for another video i'll get this oiled up and we'll fire it off right here on camera for the first time got some dgp oil they sponsored sawfest and we'd like to thank them for that so we'll fill this tank with our dgp oil so other than the mtronics and a little bit less material in the cylinder i'm gonna imagine this one is within grams of the 400.1, which means it's lighter than the 400. So let's see, no primer bulb, decomp pressed. Let's see how many pulls it takes. Never started it. As far as I know, this has only had the factory fire. So we'll see. That was eight, off choke. tuning on it idles a little bit high it seems but fired up oils good sign steel quality right there so we'll get these baseline runs done it's going to come close to the 400 400.1 those both baseline really close all right ported 400.1 with the undaunted muffler cover Alrighty, 363 baseline runs. Not too bad. 
So we got those baseline runs done. And I'm not sure if the manual carp is the way to go. That M-Tronic just tuned so fast. We had to play with the settings a little bit. It didn't sound like this one had a... It sounded like this one might have had a rev limiter right around that 13.3, 13.5. But I knew stock, it wasn't going to make power up there. So I didn't try and push it too hard as a stock saw. But we had it tuned in. And we made those pulls. And it did line up with what everybody was saying. Bodie had mentioned he had one. Didn't cut as well as the point one, And he had open port cylinder. So I'm almost positive this will be open port cylinder. Just like that MS381 we poured back. That one showed up. It was an open port cylinder too. So they're doing things to detune these. And that seems to be lining up with the results we've seen. It was a good bit behind the point one and the regular 400. But hopefully this one doesn't have the obstacles with the machine work. So we'll see if we can get this one to really turn up. But we'll look at those dyno results. But we'll look at those graphs so you can see what kind of numbers this little guy's putting out. All right, well, I apologize for not having the footage, but here is the results on our 400.1. And we even have our baseline of this 363. So much like the 381 that we had over here a few years ago, it was a detuned version of the 038 that was available here. Um, just an open port. Didn't quite make the power, but here's our baseline 363, 4.98 horse, 3.19 foot pounds. That's the pink lines down here. And on this graph, I also threw in just a stock run for the 400.1, the 6.1 horse, 4.07. And if you remember that video, just broad, usable power all the way across. Green line torque that actually had better torque than our MS400 that's available here. And you can see I threw in right here. This is the one everybody was asking about. 7.6 horse, 4.21 foot pounds. This is our ported 400.1, these blue lines. So just porting alone gave us a substantial increase in power. And we didn't give up. You can see we didn't give up any torque anywhere over stock. Porting with our undaunted muffler. That one came out with the best power. And this red line here. This red line is our average ported MS400 like we can get here in the States. They come in pretty much all the time right around this seven and a half horse and 4.3 foot pounds. And as you can see, our ported 400 isn't very far behind and actually makes a little bit more peak torque than our point one. But we can do the full works. We can make a smaller combustion chamber. We can make things a little bit more efficient doing the machine work on the 400. And you can see it does have a little bit better broad range power. But if we're up here, where most of the cutting done, 9,500 to 105, they're going to be very similar in the wood. And that seems to line up real close with what the owner has. He has a 0.1 and a 400. And cut times and in the wood feel is very similar. But I'm sure this 0.1 will be back. And we do have Bodhi. His point one will be making a return trip once it's all done. And I know Jeff, leave nothing stock, did all the machine work and everything. So this is what we have. Baseline numbers, kind of what we expected. We were told it was an open port, told it was detuned. You can clearly see detuned from the stock point one, which that means it's not even close to our regular 400. But once we get into it, we will see what we can do. If we can do more machine work to this cylinder, we might be able to get it right up here with these other two. But let me know what you think. And sorry it took so long. All right, till next time. Thanks a lot, everyone.